Shared memory, using memory regions for inter-process communication. Welcome. In this video, we will explore the concept of shared memory, a powerful technique for enabling different processes to communicate and share data efficiently. What is shared memory? Shared memory is a memory region that can be simultaneously accessed by multiple processes. It provides one of the fastest forms of inter-process communication, also known as IPC, as no kernel involvement is required once the memory is mapped. Here are some of the key characteristics of shared memory. It provides direct memory access without system calls. Processes can read and write to shared regions. It requires explicit synchronization mechanisms, and it is efficient for large data transfers between processes. How shared memory works. In a typical system, each process has its own virtual address space. Shared memory creates a region of memory that is accessible by multiple processes. This shared region is mapped into the virtual address space of each participating process, allowing them to directly read from and write to the same physical memory location. As you can see from the diagram, process A and process B both have a virtual address space, but they both connect to the shared memory region which resides in the physical memory. Creating shared memory in Unix or Linux operating systems. There are generally two approaches to create shared memory regions in Unix and Linux systems. The first one is the PASIX shared memory, which is a modern approach using the shm underscore open and map functions. Here is a code snippet. First, create a shared memory segment using the shm underscore open function. Then, set the size using the truncate function. Finally, map it into the address space using the map function. The second one is the system v shared memory, which is a traditional approach using the shmget and shmat functions. The code snippet is given here. First, create a shared memory segment using the shmget function. Attach to the process address space using the shmat function and detach when done using the shmdt function. Complete POSIX shared memory example. First, let us see an example of the producer process. The producer process creates a shared memory object using shm underscore open. Then, it sets the size to 4 kilobytes using the truncate function. After that, it maps it into the address space using the map function and writes the data using sprint. The producer creates the shared memory region and writes data to it. The consumer can then access the same region to read the data. Complete POSIX shared memory example continued. Now let us see the consumer process. The consumer opens the existing shared memory object using shm underscore open. Then it maps it into the address space in the read only mode using the map function. It reads and displays the data and cleans up by unmapping using munmap and unlinking the shared memory object using the shm underscore unlink function. The consumer opens the existing shared memory region, maps it into its address space, and reads the data written by the producer. After processing, it cleans up by unmapping the memory and unlinking the shared memory object. Synchronization in shared memory. Shared memory alone doesn't provide synchronization between processes. Race conditions can occur when multiple processes access shared data simultaneously. Without proper synchronization, data corruption and inconsistency can occur. Therefore, we need synchronization mechanisms. Here are some of the synchronization mechanisms. Semaphores control access to shared resources. Mutexes ensure mutual exclusion for critical sections. Condition variables signal state changes between processes. File locks uses file-based locking mechanisms, and atomic operations are hardware-supported indivisible operations. Synchronization example with semaphores. Here is an example of shared memory with semaphore protection. First, we define a shared structure. It contains a value and a semaphore, which is a POSIX semaphore for synchronization. 
In the producer side, we initialize the semaphore to be shared between processes. To safely access the shared data in any process, first lock the semaphore using the sem underscore wait function. Increment the value, which is the critical section, and then unlock the semaphore using the sem underscore post function. Using semaphores ensures that only one process can access the critical section at a time, preventing race conditions. The semaphore must be placed in the shared memory region to be accessible by all processes. Advantages and limitations of shared memory. Here are some of the advantages. Shared memory is the fastest inter-process communication mechanism available. It is efficient, since there is no kernel involvement during data transfer. It has flexibility to share complex data structures. It is simple and conceptually straightforward. It has capacity to share large amounts of data. It is best suited for high-performance applications, real-time systems, database engines, and multimedia processing. Here are some of the limitations of shared memory. It requires explicit synchronization mechanisms to avoid race conditions and deadlocks. It is limited to processes on the same machine. The memory is volatile, and it has potential for memory leaks and access violations. Some of the alternatives are message queues, pipes, sockets, memory mapped files, and distributed shared memory. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.